Hey, it's JP with Retronyms, and welcome back to IMPC Prolog. Every week, we take a look at the latest features from the fresh development build of IMPC Pro. And this week, to start off, I've got some great news we've submitted to Apple. All we're waiting for now is review and approval. And when that happens, we will post it to the App Store for everyone to check out for themselves instead of looking at me all the time. Uh, basically, um, price still to be announced, so stay tuned for that but this is a big milestone and we're closer all the time. So, oh, by the way, we're doing a big launch sale on IMPC, it's two bucks. If you haven't checked out IMPC yet, it's a great beat maker, tons of samples, uh, 2.99 or 1.99, sorry, $2, can't go wrong. Uh, if you're an IMPC user, tell your friends, uh, get them involved, uh, of course. So we're also doing a tabletop uh, device sale too, so check that out. Um, okay, so this week I want to show uh, still more, you know, I've been here for 10, 11 videos, but I still haven't shown everything that this thing has inside of it. In fact, uh, I, I, I may not even get through everything by the time we're, we're out, but uh, that's fine. Uh, this week I want to show um, sounds. We've had some requests for song mode. We have a song mode in this, I'll show that too, but I want to show sounds this week. We are back on the program editor. So we've looked at this, you can kind of adjust parameters, there's other videos about this stuff, but we haven't really looked at the sounds tab. So here in sounds, uh, when you tab to, to this mode, uh, it shows all the, the names of the sounds themselves, and in this mode you can drag sounds from pad to pad, and it'll just copy it from pad to pad. So we're kind of in a drag and drop, a kit, drum kit program arrangement and layout mode here. Of course I've got all four of my banks. Over here on the left hand side is your sound library. So let's, let's take a look at that in depth. Basically, um, there's the factory sound. So out of the box, it comes with uh, uh, over 1400 sounds, I believe. Uh, so they're organized into 16 main categories. So I can find things like snares. And when you're in a sound bank, you can tap the uh, preview button to audition it or just drag and drop onto a pad to lay it out. You can also browse by project and program. So if I have a sound that I really like in a certain demo project, for example, if I really like something in Electro Phoenix, I can view all the sounds that are in Electro Phoenix and add them to whatever program I'm building. Programs works the same way, and of course I have my programs and my projects in these as well, so I can browse my custom drum kits or the Akai built-in drum kits. So if there's something in cinematic drums that I really like, I can find it there as well. So that's the factory stuff, but on into my sounds, uh, we have the same top level 16 main categories, but uh, then it gets more detailed. So there's several banks here for sort of the origin of the sound. In other words, like how you created it or where it came from. So for example, I've got this mic line sample bank and everything in here are sounds that I've sampled off the mic. Like this sound, which I sampled from the microphone. Basically, uh, we categorize the sounds for you as much as possible so you don't have to like noodle with, with sound banks and stuff like that. So there's a turntable sample bank, a interrupt sample bank, resampled sounds bank, you know, etc. So in the interrupt sample bank, for example, I sampled a sound from Strike. That's that. And, uh, you know, the list goes on. Now from there, there are 40 plus uh, user banks here that are just arbitrary banks. So if I wanted to move the Strike sample from the interrupt sound bank to one of these, I can do this. So I edit the sound. And here, obviously, I can trim and rename and that kind of stuff. But in the upper right here is the uh, sample bank. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that. And now I can move it to any number of these user banks, or just, just I can move it into the top level 16 main named banks as well. So I can move my sounds around and organize them as I want. Best thing, or at least my favorite thing in terms of, of finding sounds, is search. So up here on the left, I can hit search and it will auto-complete uh, your search as you do it here. So this is great. I've got like my entire list of sounds right here, and this would include anything that I've created as well as the factory stuff. And then if I want to say I need a snare uh, or maybe a shaker, uh, I can just type in shaker, and everything with that name in the name is going to come up.
So I can find a shaker. Or let's say a wood block. Maybe we got some of that. Or just various wood. Or maybe a uh, wobble. Uh, I've got all my... We've integrated audio paste really well, so you can paste a sound right onto any pad. Uh, so uh, if I select a pad, hit audio paste. I've got all my audio paste library here. So here is a uh, track from uh, Jerry Pizzini, tabletop community member, shout out, uh, called Buy Bulk. Where I downloaded the session and audio copied it. So I can just tap that and it pasted it right onto the pad. So now I can edit the sound, you know, I can chop it, all that kind of fun stuff. Basically, this put uh, the sound in the pasted sound bank. So let's take a look. Um, so here it is. So I've pasted in Bible 3 here. If I want to do something destructive to edit the sound, so for example, I'm going to hit edit. And all of our trimming, of course, is non-destructive, so it's not going to harm anything. But if I go ahead and do something like discard the ends or fade out, uh, this is actually going to manipulate the sound uh, data, the actual waveform data. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And I'll do one more thing here. I'm going to... So now I've really manipulated this. Okay, so I'm going to hit done. And basically, I still have my bulk three right here. And then I have the new reversed version. So in other words, if you destructively edit a sound, it won't lose its original sound link in your project. You're free to make destructive edits and you're not going to destroy your programs and your projects. Uh, it'll always make a copy, basically, of the sound when you do that. So you don't have to worry. Uh, so feel free to, to mangle your sound to your heart's content. Uh, so basically, that is a quick look at the uh, sounds mode inside program. And uh, you know, I hope you like this. I hope you're as excited as I am to see that IMC Pro is uh, submitted. And uh, I hope to have lots more news about that soon. Final thing, I've been saying this, uh, IMPC owners, we're going to try to do something cool for you guys uh, when we release IMPC Pro. Um, so stay tuned to that. Look in the in-app news for some information about how to keep your ears to the ground there and how to find out about what we're doing. Um, and we'll let you guys know. Uh, so thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you next time.